All right, here's the deal. We may get to see the first space rescue of my lifetime. Boeing put together a transport vehicle to ferry astronauts up to the International Space Station. And recently, they've made a lot of news for some engineering problems with even their airplanes, but specifically for this vehicle. It's struggled quite a bit to get off the ground, literally. And so recently, they sent up a, a two astronauts. Um, during the launch, they detected a helium leak. The helium leak wasn't significant enough. They still decided to launch the vehicle up to the space station. Once it got into orbit, they noticed there were some thruster problems and even more leaks along the way. So they barely made it. They got docked on the International Space Station. The astronauts are safe. They transferred over to the space station. But now the return home, which should have lasted a, a nine-day stint on the space station, has now turned into three weeks plus. Next week, it'll be one month that these guys have been up there. And Boeing has kind of explained it away and looking for some technical uh, issues and, and trying to make sure that the capsule can return back to Earth. And if, if, dur during this whole process, they, they gave contracts to develop this vehicle to multiple companies, SpaceX being one of them. And SpaceX has had a bunch of successful transports up to the station. So now we've got the situation, a couple of astronauts that are stranded on the space station. Now, two things could happen. Actually, three, but I'm going to give credibility only to two of them. So the one best-case scenario is Boeing says, yeah, we're not going to take the risk, and SpaceX sends a couple of maybe one or two uh, rescue vehicles to be able to bring the astronauts home. I'm, I'm unsure how many occupants can fit on the Dragon. Um, I don't know if it's a four-seater and if they send two pilots up that they can come down with the two or it's going to take one at a time. But let's assume they're going to do, do it in one shot. So Boeing admits they're not going to be able to do it safe enough, so S SpaceX goes up. And rescues those astronauts. That's best case scenario. That's what we're we're absolutely hoping for. And then they dump the uh, the the Boeing capsule. I think it's called Starliner, and it just dumps off the atmosphere, lands in the ocean, and no harm, no foul. The second option, and this, if they deem that they could deorbit, if they can pull away from the space station with limited thrusters and and do it safely, then the, the capsule returns, and then we just say that time, extra time was just due diligence. But the third reason, this is the one I'm afraid of, because when you're letting your competition, the people who have been competing with you for those contracts, come and rescue you, this may be your last mission. And Boeing already spent way more money than the original awarded contract. I think they were given like $4, million or $4 billion from, uh, from NASA, and it costs them $5 billion at this point. So, you know, kind of like taking that bloodbath loss and saying we're no longer in the business of, of uh, space exploration, I don't know if they're going to be ready to do that. So the third option is that they push this, lim the, this limit, they do it unsafely, and it's a crash and burn and we have loss of life. And that's a real possibility at the end of this that uh, – that, that Boeing takes too big of a risk because of a, uh, of the face that they will lose if they uh, are ha have to be rescued by their competition. So we'll see in the coming days. I think what's going to happen is they're going to take it up to the very last moment. SpaceX absolutely is putting together contingencies to do this rescue, so they'll be ready in in a heartbeat and they'll be able to go up there and rescue these astronauts. But it's, uh, it's, it's not made as much news as I absolutely thought. I mean, when I was a kid, uh, you know, from the space shuttle launches to moonwalks, uh, it was always in the news. It was always a big deal. And space exploration is, I don't know if it's overdone and people just don't have the attention spans to pay attention to, uh, to what's going on in space. Maybe there's too much drama going down here on the, you know, the terrestrial side and uh, not as much uh, interest in what's going on in the space side. But it'll be interesting. It plays out over the next few weeks. And again, I hope and we all should hope that they do the safest thing to be able to get these guys back down.